need volunteers and to be so active and interested and caring. Megs does that in abundance. She is stuck in everything. If anything that needs to be done, call Meg. <laughs> Can't say no. Typical Irish mammy, wasn't it? <laughs> Cannot sit down. Can't sit down. She just love of it, I was, is it? She just really goes above and beyond for us. Caring and helpful, generous, makes pe people feel very belong to the club. Uh, she can sing, uh, she can dance, uh, she's known if she's uh, idle there, training, she clean windows, she do anything. She's the mammy of the club. She has three kids of her own, but I'd say definitely she has 30 or 40 children along the sideline. Her hands are never empty, and I'd say her heart's never empty either. Always in good humour, uh, always in great form, and always willing to help out. And you'd always be happy to see her because she just, you know, brightens your day. We lose our draw after a game, she'll sing a song. She'll take us home as well, which is an added bonus, so. <laughs> ring Margaret, she'll bring it to the mat, she'll bring it to training. She'll not only bring you, she'll collect you at the house and drop, drop the kids back to the house. There's no bother if you're missing a football boot or if you're missing a pair of gloves or a pair of socks. She'll have them in the back of the boot of the car. I actually have a hen party the day after the awards night and she's dropped me to Dingle from <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> we had one game and she couldn't come because her daughter was getting married and she texts us all in the morning saying best of luck and then after the game saying well done. We had only training last week and I said, Jesus, I said, it's a wonder Margaret Buckley isn't here. Like, and next thing, lo and behold, about 20 minutes later, I seen her walking up along the other side of the field, pushing a buggy. Mind them one of the one of the girls' kids. And if you go over helping her, she's like, go way back training, you know. It doesn't matter who you are, what age you are. She kind of makes everyone feel welcome coming in the door. That's what club is all about. If we can all take a look at Meg's and take a little little chapter out of her book, how she does it, I think the community will continue to grow. And I think what really shines is how much the players look up to Meg's, you know, because they've seen her down through the years, what she does, you know. I'm delighted for her. She deserves it so yeah. much. She yeah. does everything for everybody. She's one in a million. So. Yeah. She won't let everybody else wash the jerseys. That's her job. Oh, I'm stuck in the fundraising. Like. Oh, fundraising, yeah. She's always oh, nice. in the centre kind of, of that. Yeah. Last year she did a, a coffee morning just, just you know, to raise a few bob on Sunday morning. And it brought in over a thousand euro. It's the anniversary of our club being founded and um, they're making a book um, with all the pictures and she's on the organising committee for that as well, of course. She leads by example, like just her dedication alone. I know she'd absolutely hate getting this nomination um, because that's not what she wants. She doesn't want the limelight, she just wants to be able to help out. People have such huge respect for her. There wouldn't be a club meeting and Megs is always there, Do you know. She um, always gives her input, always so positive. If you could actually pay a Margaret, she wouldn't accept money. She's 120% a volunteer. The coaching, the underage, first aid. She's also involved in many of the committee. She did secretary for years and years. She did treasurer for years and years. And a club doesn't run by itself. A club is run by volunteers. She does it without, without never being asked to do it. She loves just being here. I think she must drop everything else and make sandwiches for what's ever needed. Ma'am, I'd just like to say a huge congratulations. There's nobody more deserving and I hope you have a great time. Congratulations, ma'am, on your award. Hope you have a great night. Thanks for everything you do for us and for the globe in general. Just thanks, enjoy. Congratulations, ma'am. There's no woman more deserving of it and I hope you enjoy your night. We're absolutely delighted for you and we're so proud of you and happy that you're part of our wonderful club. Well done, delighted for you. Um, I hope you have a fantastic night and well deserved. Margaret, well deserved. Congratulations. No better person to receive the award. Have a great night. You are the pillar of St Val's and from underage all the way through to the senior team, to the committee, have such huge respect for you. We're stone mad about you. It is so deserving for you and all your family and for St Val's as well, you're a credit to us all. So thank you.